Hello and welcome! So for 2018 I made myself the resolution to try and create some vlogs and create a vlogging channel because I haven't done that yet and I've been on YouTube for over a year so I thought why not start straight away as soon as I can. It is like the first week of January and I have a very very minute last minute plan to go to New York City as in I found out like an hour ago and now I have like three hours to get myself ready and then go to the city so I thought I'm gonna bring you along, see how this vlogging thing goes. So, welcome to the vlog! <laughs> So this is the way that I like to pack, throw everything on my bed in a giant pile of all the stuff that I'm pretty sure I need and then attempt to organise it all and fold it all into a space small enough to fit into this little backpack which really is helpful if you have packing cubes because that is done quite easily. So now I'm going to organise this mess. changed into the outfit I'm gonna wear on the train and what I forgot to tell you when I said I had three hours to get ready is that I also have three hours to get ready and at the same time cook a meal for ten people cook and prepare a meal for ten people so I've been running around like a crazy person but I thought I could quickly share with you the things I am taking with me um, so you have a rough idea um, so that's my toiletry bag, I can maybe do that in more depth later, but I have my camera bag with my charger, my phone, my notebook, and two pens that I usually write YouTube ideas on, or just, just a random piece of paper to write things down on. In my first packing cube, I'm going to take one skirt, a top, and another skirt. In my other packing cube, I have two pairs of socks, three pairs of underwear, one top, one pair of sh little shorts, and two pairs of tights, and then this one's actually just my camera charger, my phone charger, and my Kindle charger. I'm going to take my water bottle, still debating over the keep cup, and then in my little pocket here I have random things. So I have lip balm, headphones, backpack that folds out to be like a good size backpack. I have my daisy which um, is where I take my temperature from this morning. I have a spork and a granola bar just in case. Um, and then I also have two reusable little bags in case I want to get anything in bulk. Umbrella, hairbrush, kindle, wallet, scarf and stuff I'm wearing on to the train with me and then my shoes are down here. So. That's what I'm taking with me. All packed up and there's plenty more room in there, so ready to go. What I like to do before I leave to go anywhere is I like to clean my room. Ignore that box, but just like have the space nice and clean. So when I come back, it's not very hard to just like drop back into the space. Um, yeah, it's all nice and snowy outside. Like keep the, I don't know, just keep my room nice and clean. So it feels good to come home when I come back. So yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go, gonna get my shoes on, and then gonna drive to the train station, catch the train um, to Penn Station in New York City. into 
the hotel room after at least like an hour and a half of waiting in line to do so but we are now here the room's not too bad however i'm having a very big problem with the wastefulness of hotels so if you've ever stayed in a hotel you will recognize these little shampoo and conditioners and soaps and things like that which is one just wasteful because like you know you probably get two shampoo rinses in one tiny bottle but my main issue is with these plastic cups because each plastic cup which is bad enough is actually individually wrapped in its own piece of plastic i guess for like sanitary reasons so that people feel like no one else has used the cups but that is really ridiculous so anyway i'm really glad i have my own reusable water bottle and then i also brought my own soap and my own toiletries so i will not have to touch any of this nonsense here <laughs> Later on that night, I walked around the city for quite some time and we stopped in Pret to get a snack and I had a banana because it was the only thing that wasn't packaged in plastic. And then we met up with one of my friends who I went to primary school with and we got some Japanese food that was really quite yummy. I ended up just going back to the hotel after dinner and went straight to bed. Good morning. I'm gonna get myself ready and then I think we'll I don't know, go out and find something to do in the city today. up on top of the Alice in Wonderland statue is I have exactly the same picture of me when I was 16 and I first visited New York City so I wanted to recreate that picture.
eat and then I'm gonna catch my train back home. On the way back home, I'm just gonna sit here and read, even though the train's not meant to depart for another like 25 minutes. But it's nice and warm here, which is the important thing. I was really happy to be able to get some of my train snacks completely waste free, so some bulk mango. I was a little bit annoyed about the sticker. I mean, I probably could have done it without the sticker, but I try to just, I don't know. I've done it before in Whole Foods and they kind of got annoyed at me, so I just got the sticker instead. And that was some waste free mango. I also got myself pretzel waste free as well, which I am really excited to eat later on in the trip. I got some fruit as well, but unfortunately it came with these produce stickers, which is really frustrating if you're not going a, to a farmer's market, but if you just go to a normal supermarket, it always has these stickers on the unpackaged fruit. I am now back home after several hours of just traveling to get back. And I had a really nice time in the city. It was just super cold. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm just going to get unpacked and then probably go to bed because it's quite late at night. So thank you so much for watching. And yeah, let me know if you enjoy vlogs or me trying to vlog. So this is my first attempt. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll try and do this again in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.